I'm Navcan and my passion is cars. I can customise all types of vehicles to make people's car dreams come true. I can customise anything from boy races, all-time classic, 4x4s and supercars. And with the help of your host, my good friend Shizio, join us. We are the Customised Kings. Welcome to Customized Kings. I'm your host Shizio. Nav and the team at NCONS are going to take cars and customize them to that next level. On this week's show, Nav and the team will be customizing for the King of Curry, Shabir Hussain, owner of the restaurant chain Akbars. I've got a couple of ideas which I want to discuss also with Nav. He wants something comfortable and elegant. I want the inside to look as good as the outside. Oh, that's a challenge. Also in the show, I will be playing some hundred games of my own. I don't think this is really rover friendly. Doesn't make sense. In this week's experiment. We are in the city of dreams, Bradford. Home of fast food, good people, great culture and M car. <laughs> Boasting over 20,000 meters squared of vehicle pampering, Attention to detail, that's what matters. This is Customized Kings HQ. Welcome to Customized Kings, the number one customization show on any channel. I'm your host Shizio, and we're in Bradford. Nav and the Encant boys are ready to do it again this week. Another supercar, another customization. We love it. Don't go nowhere. I'm from London. But even I know, anytime you go up north and you hit that M1 and you're hungry, there's only one place to go. It's the infamous Akbar's restaurant. Now, Shabir Hussain is the legend behind it. You may not know the face, but trust me, you know the food. You know what? I'm dying to know the story behind it. Well, in a nutshell, uh, it's something that I always wanted to do. I always wanted to have a restaurant. I enjoy cooking. I'm a people's person. So I think the combination of the two things worked perfectly well uh, in the restaurant trade. You go, I was actually in your restaurant last night, thank you so much for having us, and five thumbs up. <laughs> Growing up as a child, what kind of cars stuck out in your mind? I think every sort of kid either wants a Lamborghini yeah. or a Ferrari. But as I grew up and was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to have one of these cars, I had a Lamborghini, I hated it. Really? Yeah, I returned it in two weeks. Wow, why? Uh, it was the most horrible drive I've ever had in my life. I had a Ferrari, I got rid of it. Oh. It was the second worst car I ever had in my life. <laughs> Did, okay. Yeah, absolutely. But because my work takes me sort of more or less from Birmingham all the way up to Glasgow, right. I'm on the road a lot, I need something which is very comfortable, something that I can travel at ease. For that, I don't think my life would be complete unless I had a Range Rover. So that's the uh, weapon of that's choice, the, the Range yeah, Rover? Yeah. Is that what car you brought in now? That's the car I've given to Nav now. When you pick a way to customise your vehicle, what is it that you're looking for and is there certain specific things that you must have? For me, comfort is most important. And secondly, it has to be subtle. So it's that essence of mixing business with the fun of it. You can do your work and still enjoy your ride and feel nice about yourself. Yeah, and, and look at the car and think, yes, I like that. That's me done. We've got to take you to the boss himself and see, figure out if we can work this out and get him to where he needs to be. Let's go. People are here for one reason, to customise their vehicle. We've heard it from Shabir, we know what he's here for. Nav is waiting, let's go to the boardroom. Right, from all your collection of your cars, we've done many cars here, supercars, r Lamborghinis, Ferraris, I know there's some of them that you didn't really fancy too much, but you've gone for the car that you thought you're gonna use most of because you travel up and down the country, so you went for the Range Rover Vogue. You bought it standard, so what have you got in mind? It's gotta be comfortable. You know, so whatever you do, I want you to do it subtle. Okay. I don't want it to look like a, because it's my work horse, that's right, so it's got to have that sort of... You're a two uh, race. Yeah, you know, I want it to look professional, I want it to look... Corporate. You know, to have the right pro corporate profile. Right. I don't want it in your face. Hmm. We've got to definitely put a body kit on that. Nice, subtle body kit. There's a lot of body kits out there in the market that are quite wild. 
Do you know what I mean? No, no, that's Looking at your personality, knowing how you are, and I know you don't like things too extravagant. I've got the right piece of body kit, the wheels. More than the outside, it's the inside of the car where I spend my time. So True I want right. the inside to look, if not better, as good as the outside. Oh, that's the challenge. Can they make the seat more comfortable than what it is already? Ooh. Come from Range Rover, you want me to make the chair even more comfy. I get your travels a lot, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shake Excellent. on it. The challenge is set. Shake on it. We're going to do this, Vash. I want to do it for you. This right, that's done. I can't wait to see what happens. So let's get it on. Shabir has specially requested that Nav completes this two to three weeks as the Range Rover is his workhorse for travelling up and down the country between restaurants. It's experiment time. This week, it's a food test. Now I know what you're thinking. What do food and cars have in common? Well, much more than you may realise because when you're out on the road and you're hungry, nothing matters but satisfying that belly. So it's simple. We're going to take these cars to a drive through and see how we get on. Drive through lanes are so narrow and some vehicles find it so difficult to get through quick. So first we're going to try 4x4, the Range Rover. Have a look, have a look, look at that. Good. Squeeze is so tight, it's close to scraping the wheels. If you're hungry, you better observe some patience or else those wheels are getting scraped. And there's another corner now. I don't think this is Range really Rover friendly. Doesn't make sense. It's too cramped, too congested. If you've got a hundred thousand pound car, alloys that are worth God knows how many thousands, to be honest, that's a fail. It was very difficult. The dimensions of the front, you can't really see the front alloy is just turning. Then you've got to watch the back one. When you're really hungry, it's very difficult. To be honest, you're probably going to curb your alloy. I'm going to scrape the alloy. It's worth more than the damn food. So you know what? Let's try the fear. When you've been on the road and you're hungry, all you're thinking about is food. So let's navigate the drive through with the Fiat hatchback. No panicking about scraping the wheels. No pressure about hitting the front when you're turning the corners. You're just in and out. So, so much better. This bit was difficult in the rain. I've done it. And if you forgot to add ketchup or barbecue sauce, it's easy. You just go around again. Look at this. I'm going round, going round, going round. It's the easiest pie. When you've got food on your mind, you're not worried about 22 alloys being scraped. All you care about is food in your belly. So today's winner, keep and cheerful, it's the Fiat. Shabir Hussain has bought in his Range Rover to get customised. I want the inside to look as good as the outside. Oh, that's the challenge. He's entrusted now to customise the inside and out. Newest member of the N Class Platinum Group. Yeah. But he's not a good, a good boss. He's the best. My name's Ash. Uh, I've been with the company a while and uh, my role is a professional driver. Ash does the, the lift fetching carry for the business, you know, he does the deliveries, takes the post, gets our lunches. Ash has been at N Cars for some time now, but his timekeeping skills have resulted in two dismissals. Yeah, Mark is managing you, yeah. not me. He can't just go and say, I want to clock out. You clocked out for an hour, not three hours. However, Nav has always been fair and given Ash another chance. He's part of the team, he definitely is. Even the little he does, he still completes the team. First things first, we take off the old parts before we add the new aero kit conversion. The kit needs to be put onto the car first to ensure it fits properly before it's sprayed and has no gaps. It's easier checking the fit of the body kit before it's primed and painted than doing it later. Then the kit is in the spray booth to get primed. It's all about that seamless colour match as Nav's paint technicians add the paint. waving technique is to evenly spread the contents across the surface area.
With all hands on deck in a full garage, everyone is stretched. Car parts are needed for some of the cars that are being worked on and no one is available to pick these up from the local dealership. This is a job for Ash. So Nav contacts his line manager, Mark. Yeah, Mark, you sent Ash to pick that part up for the Range Rover, yeah? I need it urgently. All right, mate, cheers. Yeah, today's been a long day. I feel quite exhausted and tired. There's a lot of cars to move around. Hi, Ash. Uh, Nav needs you to nip down to Farnells and pick some parts up. If you don't mind. And there's no juice in the car. Canal roads and you get a petrol allowance to well, not merge. Well, I'm saying it's empty nowadays because if you just took a few dollars of course mine now and go down. Welcome to the NCAN's ice department. For you that don't know what ice stands for, it stands for in-car entertainment. Should be his Range Rover. He wants hooking up with some PlayStations in the back for his kids. Touch screen, subwoofers and speakers. I think I'm going to go for the vibes. Close each vibes. Two of these is going to sound POW. And that's it for part one. But don't go nowhere, because in part two we've got so much more to come. And Nav, is that even worth fixing? Coming up in part two, things are getting serious as Ash still has not returned. I'm just going to see what excuse he's got and hope he's got a good one. And does Shabir give us the right reaction in the reveal? We're in Bradford, where Shabir, owner of the Akbar's restaurant chain, has entrusted Nav to customise his Range Rover. More than the outside, it's the inside of the car where I spend my time. Now, what's more important for Shabir is the inside. Right, I don't want it in your face. Hmm, come from Range Rover, you want me to make the toilet even more comfy. Nav has asked Ash to pick up some parts from a local dealership. However, Ash has been a while and his phone is off. M. Khan's is on Lister Hills Road and the dealership is 1.4 miles away on Kings Road. Now in normal traffic this should take 4 to 5 minutes. Straight to answer phone. Nav presses on with preparing the interior for customisation. Seats and inner panels are taken out to leave almost a shell. Yeah, hi Mike, where's Ash? Wheels time. We need Shabir's work course the Range Rover to have the best wheels on the motorway. Live fast, drive hard. Shabir, we're going to hook you up with some nice alloy wheels so you can do just that. It's very important we get the wheels right on the car. It's all right putting a nice body kit on, but if you get the wheels wrong, the car's finished. We can get some 17 inch alloys to 24s. Any colour, chrome, matte black, gloss black. So let's go check some out. <laughs> Now it's important that Nav takes his time picking the right wheels for the Range Rover as Shabir doesn't want anything extravagant. Shabir, we're we'll going to hook you up with some nice 22 inch alloy wheels for your car. The search for Ash continues. Hi, Ash. So you can't take a call, leave a message after the beep. Hi, uh, Ash. Can you give Nav a ring as soon as you can, please? Um, it's getting a little bit but you, you know, you won't come back in time. Thank you. Yeah, is Ash not back yet? Uh, basically, we sent Ash to Farnells um, about three hours ago and he still hasn't come back. He's gone AWOL, I don't know where he is. I'm just gonna see what excuse he's got and hope he's got a good one. The show must go on. So the customised kings are placing the primed and painted body kit back onto the vehicle. Yeah, when it's with it, it's really stressful. I mean, we have, we're probably working 30, 40 cars at any one time. So, you know, I've got to get involved as well, help the team out, motivate them. But uh, just basically, we've got to get on with it, head down and focus. 
The garage is busy, but Shabir's Range Rover must be delivered within two to three weeks. Body kit is placed on the vehicle with precision and care. Mark escalates the matter by ringing Ash's brother. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get hold of Ash. Um, can you give him a ring so he answers your phone? Production for the day is drawing to a close and three hours later, Ash finally arrives very casually. I've been for three hours. I oh, it was about an hour or so, but I had to go hacks, didn't I? No, it's about an hour or so, give traffic, give or take, yeah? Basically, on the way down, a bit peckish, so I went to hacks for a burger, but there was a big queue, so I had to wait a while. But he can't seem to see what the problem is. He heads upstairs to the garage, unaware of Nav's concerns. Things come to a head the following day. And after being questioned by Mark, he is now being questioned by the boss. I'm willing to work until 6-7, aren't I? Yeah, so how, can you, how can you have a three hour lunch? I always talk at one o'clock now. You talk at one o'clock, yeah. how long is lunch for? One hour. One hour. What time, you, what time did I call you, Ash? You said come at about What time did I call you, Ash? Half past three. Half past three. Three, that's two and a half hours. Yeah. Did you tell anybody? Yeah, no. I'm sorry, innit? What happened again? Come on, it's amazing. I'm always here, you know that. Yeah, I'll, but I'll next time you go somewhere like that, you need to tell me your mark. Right, okay. Okay, you can't just go and say, oh, well, I clocked out. Yeah. You clocked out for an hour, not three hours. Oh, so I next time, I'm telling you now. Honestly, I don't want to joke. Fine, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah it's happened the first time, it's happened. It's not first time, it's been happening for three years. No, that's yeah, it has been just a okay, you know. Listen, something important. Alright. Meet Shazia, a beauty therapist from Leeds. She broke down in her vehicle because she didn't carry out the basic simple checks needed before embarking on a long journey. Recently I was on a long distance journey and I got myself in a bit of a situation. Her travel was recently hit with some turbulence that could have been avoided. I'd like to know what checks I can make on my car that would prevent me from breaking down in the future. Hi, Shazia, I'm the car Please doctor. Meet. Right, some of the things to check before embarking on a long journey mm -hmm. are, I'd say, firstly, are the tyres. So make sure they have a legal requirement of thread and the tyre pressure. Check that by opening your driver's side doors and there'll be a sticker in there that'll tell you exactly how much tyre pressure to put in. Oil levels, before you set off, just uh, there's a dipstick in the uh, engine bay. Just pull that out and just make sure the oil level is on the maximum. Mm -hmm. And if it's too low, obviously you can get it topped up. Uh, water fluid levels as well. So you have to make sure the engine's cool when you do that. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. any, any checks you do, just make sure that the car's been stood there for a few hours. Because obviously if it started, you won't get the correct breeding. So you've got to check the oil, the water, so make sure there's enough coolant in the radiators. Mm -hmm. And my main advice would be just to join up AA or RAC, just for a peace of mind. So if you do break down, you do need recovery, you've got somebody to call out. Okay. So to summarise the basic checks you need to embark on a long journey. Check the tyre pressure, and most vehicles should have the information on a sticker located somewhere in the car. Check the oil levels by pulling out the dipstick and see if it needs to get topped up. Make sure your engine has been off and has cooled down for a couple of hours. These tips are Nav's own opinions and are based purely on his own professional experience and judgement. Right, it's that time. It's been what, two, three weeks? Uh, two and a half weeks, yeah. Shabir is back. Everything's taken place. I need to know your thoughts, brother. Well, I've got my fingers and my toes crossed. But however, saying that, I have faith in Navi. He has done a couple of jobs for me before. But I'm excited. I'm excited. And you just can't wait to see it, right? I can't. I can't. Because what I gave him was just something very, as you know, simple, basic. And, uh, and he asked me to. He says, forget about it. Leave it to me. Yeah. He's going to wow me. So this is the time to be wowed. This is the time to be wowed. Talk is cheap. Let's see the results. this? Not much of a reaction from Shabir. Is he not happy? I got something to tell you. That is awesome. Thank you. You like it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know what? You never fail to support me. This is brilliant. This is better than the job you did last time. Thank you very much. King of customising, king of career. There you go. You heard it. You've got one more, one, another happy customer. Nav has truly spiced up Shabir's life with his customization. So let's take a closer look at what has been done. 
This is what we've done to Bash's car. We've got the personalised autobiography grill for you. We've got it all colour coordinated as well. it with that, yeah. Yeah, the nice fog lights in there. We've got the 22 inch alloys, what you wanted. Side skirt. They, they come out really well. Yeah, it's an automatic uh, side skirt. So when you open the door, you've got a nice step there for you. You can jump out. Uh -huh. I mean, you're quite tall actually, Bash. 20 exhaust system. Oh, wow. Sounds beautiful. Yeah. It's got that raw to it, yeah. It looks good. It's got the roof spoiler there. Nice aero spoiler for you as well. Excellent. So we've dropped it about 40 millimeters for you as well. Extra drop. So if you know, put it in low mode. Since you're a very famous guy, we've personalized the window for you as well. A bit of privacy glass, so do you know what I mean? All your fans, you know what I mean? So they can't notice when you're going around. So you've got a bit of privacy <laughs> in your life as well. So Thank we've tinted them out for you as well. That's the exterior, but what about the all important interior? After all, this was the most important factor according to Shabir. Now it's time to see these wheels in motion. Right, so the car's ready, prepped. Shabir, it's only right you take it on the road. So let's go, bro. Yeah, well, this is the part I've been waiting for most. Two and a half weeks without my baby. Yeah, we finally got it. Yep. You were doing a lot of mileage in this car, weren't you? I've not done any mileage. I've not, I've not been anywhere for the last two and a half weeks. I tell you what, I was a bit worried. I thought you may, you know, the 22 inch wheels would probably sort of toughen the ride. Yeah. But it hasn't. No, it it's hasn't. nice. Yeah. It feels okay so far. You know what, I love this leather here. It reminds me of the Bentley, the Bentley style. He's got his baby back. Yeah. So, so what yeah. do you think of the comfort of the seats then? The seat, again, that was another area I was a bit, because you know, because I do two and a half, three hours, three and a half hour journey at a time. And for me, the comfort was very important. And that's the reason why when I bought this car initially, it was to go for that very basic model. So padding in the seats for you anyway, so do you know right. what I mean? Just for your back yeah. and uh, legs, do you know what I mean? You do that two, so, three hour driving, nice and comfy. I think the things that were missing, you've managed to uh, just nicely put them in. So overall, you're loving it. You're back on the road. You've got the car you wanted. I feel like as if I've got a, as if I'm in a new car. Shabir is more than satisfied with his Range Rover to the extent that it feels like a whole new car for him. Customization complete. And now Shabir can drive in comfort and luxury around the country. And that's it for another week. Nav smashed it. Cheers, we've both smashed it. I just want to thank Shabir from Akbar's restaurant. As you guys know, I'm Customized King and he's King of Curries. He's had nice subtle modifications on his Range Rover. You don't always have to have blinged out cars. There you go. Don't forget to check out the website, customizedkings.com. And another king has just been customized.